We talk about loyalty programs pretty frequently. Everybody's kind of familiar with them. Everybody's had one on their phone. Everybody's been engaged with one. But I think there's a little bit of a misconception about what loyalty actually means at the end of the day. What does that mean? It's not really a loyalty program. Let's talk a little bit about how we see loyalty and how it evolves um, and how it, what it means to the lifetime value of a customer. Yeah, sure. You, you couldn't agree more. Loyalty is so much more than a loyalty or rewards program. Right. Uh, and it's very easy for people to fall into the trap of saying, yeah, I have loyalty done, right? I have a rewards program. But the reality is when you look at the data and picking out grocery data, for example, I think it's 39% of customers are actually loyal customers. And the rest are split probably 50-50 between neutrals and roamers. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to make the assumption that your loyalty program addresses the concerns and allows you to communicate with all of your loyal customers. But if you dig into it, those loyal customers, some of them are in your loyalty program, but many of them are not. Mm -hmm. They didn't identify as wanting to be part of your rewards program. A lot of the people in your loyalty program are actually the roamers. Mm -hmm. You talked about we've all had an app on our phone. Those roamers have 15 apps on their phone, 20 apps on their phone, mm -hmm. right? They game the system. You're giving them discounts and incentives, but so are your competitors. Mm -hmm. So we want to avoid the mistake of thinking that our loyalty program contains our loyal customers. Right. And what we want to find is a mechanism for getting feedback from all of the people who are in our customer base mm -hmm. and getting 100% coverage of those really valuable loyal customers, not just the ones who signed up for our program. And not only that, not, not just the ones that buy something. One of the things about Happy or Not, you know, our solution is that you get feedback from everyone, even the people that don't necessarily buy something. Because if, you, if you're using a receipt survey, they're not gonna have a receipt if they didn't buy anything. If they're using a loyalty app, they're not gonna, you're not gonna have any way to track that uh, if they're not buying anything. There's a reason that they didn't buy something. They went in the store, what's that reason? Yeah, abandonment's a key issue, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it still exists in grocery. It exists more in different retail sectors, right? So in apparel, for sure, um, it, it's a really significant factor. But abandonment's really painful, right? So people are walking into a store, you've spent all of your marketing dollars mm -hmm. generating that footfall and generating that engagement, and then somebody comes into the store, and for some reason, they don't find a product, they don't like the presentation of the store, they don't like the way they're dealt with, they simply choose not to purchase. Mm -hmm. The key thing about that though is that not only do they choose not to purchase, but something weird happens in that that negative experience lodges itself somewhere in their psyche. Mm -hmm. It's not really a conscious thought, but it somehow bubbles up and surfaces the next time they're taking a decision to go and purchase somewhere. Right. Right? And that's the, that's the bit you have to kind of bear in mind that you have something that bakes into somebody's thought process and the next thing you know, you've got a lost customer. 